Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. AB is equal to 10, BC is equal to 20 and CA is equal to 30. We need to find the value of A plus B plus C. So let's start. We name this equation equation 1, this equation equation 2 and this equation equation 3. Now we multiply all these three equations. Equation 1 times equation 2 times equation 3. So we multiply left sides of these three equations. AB times BC times CA is equal to we multiply right sides of these equations 10 times 20 times 30. Now this a times this a will become a squared times this b times this b will become b squared times this c times this c will become c squared is equal to 10 times 20 200 and 200 times 30 6 thousand. Now this a squared times b squared times c squared can be written as a times b times c whole squared is equal to and this 6000 can be written as 400 times 15. Now we take a square root of both sides a times b times c whole squared and we take square root at left side is equal to this 400 times 15 and we take square root at right side. Now this square will be cancelled out with this square root. And at left side, we are left with a times b times c is equal to square root of this 400 is equal to 20 times this square root of 15. We name this equation equation 4. Now we copy all the three equations here. Equation 1 is AB is equal to 10, equation 2 is BC is equal to 20 and equation 3 is CA is equal to 30. Equation 1 is A times B is equal to 10. This is equation 1 and equation 2 is B times C is equal to 20. This is equation 2. And equation 3 is C times A is equal to 30. This is equation 3. <coughs> now to find the value of A, we divide this equation 4 by this equation 2. BC is equal to 20. Like this equation 4 divided by equation 2. Left side of equation 4 is ABC. A times B times C. And we divide this by left side of equation 2 BC. BC is equal to right side of equation 4 is 20 times square root of 15. And we divide this by right side of equation 2 is 20. Now this BC will be cancelled out with this BC and this 20 will be cancelled out with this 20. And we get the value of A is equal to square root of 15. This is the value of A. Now to find the value of B, we divide this equation 4 by this equation 3. Equation 4 divided by equation 3. 
so left side of equation 4 is a times b times c and we divide this by left side of equation 3 c times a is equal to right hand side of equation 4 is 20 times square root of 15 and we divide this by right side of equation 3 30 now this c will be cancelled out with this c and this a will be cancelled out with this a and at left side we are left with b is equal to this 0 will be cancelled out with this 0 and we get the value of b 2 times square root of 15 divided by 3 this is the value of b now to find the value of c we divide this equation 4 by this equation 1 equation 4 divided by equation 1 so left hand side of equation 4 is a times b times c and we divide this by left hand side of equation 1 a times b is equal to right hand side of equation 4 is 20 times square root of 15 and we divide this by right hand side of equation 1 10 now this ab will be cancelled out with this ab and at left side we are left with c is equal to this 10 1 time and 10 2 times 20 so we get the value of c 2 times square root of 15 this is the value of c now we have the values of a b and c now we can find value of a plus b plus c so a plus b plus c is equal to value of a is square root of 15 square root of 15 plus value of b is 2 times square root of 15 over 3 2 times square root of 15 divided by 3 plus value of c is 2 times square root of 15 2 times square root of 15 next a plus b plus c is equal to as you can see we can factor out this square root of 15 square root of 15 as a common factor and in bracket left 1 plus 2 over 3 plus 2 next a plus b plus c is equal to square root of 15 times now because here we have denominator 3 so we write this one as we write this one as 3 divided by 3 plus this 2 over 3 plus we write this 2 as we write this 2 as 6 divided by 3 next a plus b plus c is equal to square root of 15 times now we write the common denominator 3 and we add this 3 this 2 and this 6 3 plus 2 plus 6 next a plus b plus c is equal to square root of 15 times 3 plus 2 5 and 5 plus 6 11 divided by 3 next a plus b plus c is equal to this expression can be written as 11 over 3 times square root of 15 this is the value of a plus b plus c this is the final answer of this equation